What's up guys, Meredith with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we are checking out the DVA Off-Road Front Aluminum Inner Fender Liners in black, fitting all 2020 and newer JT Gladiators. Now if you've upgraded the fenders on your Gladiator and you're tired of looking at that open space in your wheel well and want a more complete appearance to the sides of your JT, these are going to be a great solution for you. Now these will also provide you the protection that you need if you're taking your JT off-road often and you don't want any excessive mud or kick up getting to the side of your engine bay while also providing you some ventilation so you can keep some peace of mind that your temps are going to stay down. These will feature a full coverage designed to the inner portion of the wheel well, which will do a great job at covering up each side, which is especially useful if you're going off-road in terrain that can really gunk up the side of your engine bay. Now this set will also have a majority of the inner liner perforated, which will be really effective at extracting some extra heat, especially if you're sitting on the trail for long periods of time and your Jeep has the tendency to get hot. Now what I think is really cool about this set is that the perforated part of the inner fender liner is going to be completely bolted in so you can take that out which is very common with our customers and customize it as far as paint color goes so you can give a little bit more character to your build especially if you have a current color scheme or theme going on with your JT. As it says in the name, these will have an aluminum construction, which will help when it comes to not retaining as much heat as a heavier metal, and it will be durable to whatever kick up that it comes in contact with. Now the aluminum is also fairly flexible, so that's gonna help you when it comes to installation and getting a tight fit inside the wheel well. Now the outer portion of the liners will have a black powder coat on top, which is going to protect the aluminum underneath from any scratching and corrosion, especially with such a high traffic or high kick up area. Now they're also going to be completely bolted in so you don't have to worry about modifying your JT in order to install them. This set will come in at about $450, which is pretty average for a set of quality inner fender liners. Now what I like about this choice compared to others is that these are going to be highly vented, which will provide a lot of that heat dispersion compared to others that may not have this level of perforation or of ventilation. Now you're also going to be able to customize them and put your own spin on the appearance, making them a great choice if that custom feel and that protection is what you're chasing. The install here will be pretty easy at a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and should only take you about an hour to get the job done. Now at this point, we can head over to our shop and check out a detailed breakdown on how to get these onto your JT at home. So that is going to wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into the install. Tools required for this install include a ratchet, a clip remover tool, plastic pry tool, three millimeter Allen wrench, eight millimeter ratcheting wrench, 13 millimeter flare nut wrench, 10 millimeter socket and a five millimeter Allen socket. What's up guys? Today we're installing some inner fender liners on our Gladiator, so let's get started. So to remove our factory inner fender liners, we have a bunch of these plastic rivets through our fender flare, as well as some bolts through the top and a couple push clips at the backside. For the plastic rivets, we can take a plastic pry tool and get behind there to pop these out. Now behind the three plastic rivets at the top, there are push clips. It's gonna be impossible to get a camera angle for this, but we'll grab a clip remover tool to get back there and pop these clips out. Next, we can come to the back side of our fender flare and remove the two push clips with a clip remover tool.
Now the last few things we have are a few 10 millimeter bolts. So we're gonna go to the top rear side of our fender flare and remove this 10 millimeter bolt with a 10 millimeter socket. And now we can move towards the front where we have one more 10 millimeter bolt and another one right here. So we'll take that same 10 millimeter socket Now the last thing, right by our body mount, there should be a push clip here, however ours is missing, so you can just use that clip remover tool to pop that out. And now with everything removed, we can pull our fender liner out of place. And then you can do that same thing on the other side. Now the last thing we have to remove are these two push clips. So we'll get our clip remover tool to pop these out. Now we're ready to install our fender liners. We're gonna start with the rear half first. We have these two holes that are gonna line up to those last two push clips we removed during the uninstall. We're gonna be using our Allen bolt with a nut. We'll put the bolt through the front side and get the nut on the back side. And then we'll take a three millimeter Allen wrench and an eight millimeter ratcheting wrench, to tighten it down. So now these two holes down here are where we're gonna be sliding our bolt through. We have this slot here at the top that's gonna wrap around our wire harness. So slide this into place and get our first bolt through. And then we'll get the nut on the back side. And then we can line up our second bolt. And then get our nut on the back. So now we'll take that three millimeter Allen wrench and eight millimeter ratcheting wrench to tighten this down. Next, we can install the front half of our inner fender. And then we can take that same Allen bolt and we're gonna be threading it through these holes in our front half of the fender into the rib nuts in the back half of our fender. So now we can adjust the rear part of our fender liner to line up the rib nut with the hole in the front half. And we're just gonna thread these in for now. We're gonna leave them loose and then we'll come back and tighten them down at the end. Next, we can work our way towards the front here. We have a hole that's gonna be going through this bracket. So we're gonna slide a bolt in. We have a lock washer and a flat washer on that bolt, and we have a nut that's going up in here that we're gonna be threading this bolt into. Next, we can install our two push clips through these holes. Now, this one isn't lining up 100%, so we're gonna have to pull that over to the right. So I'm gonna take our Allen wrench and then put our clip tool over here to hold that in place. And then we'll grab our push clip
and slide that into the hole. And then we can install our second one. Next, we can come back up top and tighten down our Allen bolt. Now, you're gonna be using a five millimeter Allen socket on this side, and you're gonna want a 13 millimeter wrench to hold the nut. Now, you can fit the open end of the wrench in there. The problem is, once this bolt's tightened down, you won't be able to get it off. So I've got a flare nut wrench here. We're gonna get that in and on the nut. And then we can take our five millimeter Allen socket to tighten our bolt down. And then with that slot in our wrench, we can slide it off the stud. And now we can go back to our two Allen bolts holding the two pieces together and take a three millimeter Allen wrench and tighten that down. And now once you're done with that, you can repeat the same process on the other side. Now the last thing you wanna do is reinstall those three bolts that we removed to remove our factory fender liner, since these secure our fender flare to this bracket. So we'll just thread these into place, starting with the rear. And then take a 10 millimeter socket to tighten it down. Now we can do that same thing on the front side. And we'll take our same 10 millimeter socket to tighten these down. And then you can do that same thing on the other side. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the DV8 off-road front aluminum inner fenders in black for your 2020 and newer Jeep Gladiator JT. Thank you for watching and for all things Gladiator, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.